And hello chat, welcome back to Mass Effect 3. The finale. Well, not really the finale, close to the second finale. Not much left. Not much left at all. Fuck, I timed it wrong, so that means I have to... Hold on. Do fucking do this. this fucking, not that. And then the fucking this. And then... So capture that, but not. But no fucking full screen, whatever. And then... Magic. <laughs> I'm fucking magical. That's that's how the stream works. That's how Mass Effect. Anyway, welcome back to Mass Effect Three. So Vo here currently last time has actually just started her vacation. I forgot last time we did everything. We're on vacation. Hell yeah. Okay, chat, so you're going to have to help us adjust that audio as we go, because that's a very quiet audio thing, but I think that's a pretty good summaration of just Vo here in general. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Vo here wants to be a big hero, too. Everyone wants to be the big hero. Hell yeah. <coughs> but after a genocide, <laughs> canonically for both Vo here and Shepard, but after the genocide... Blew up a whole solar system. Oops, whoopsie daisies. Stop the reapers. Also, we get to learn a lot about Captain Anderson. I just like these little audio logs, so. Enough, so so is our parents. This whole series chat, you know, we always talk about lore, but it is, it is nice sometimes to just kind of sit down and, and just hear about a character's life. I wish I could figure out a good way in a tabletop to do that. It's not really a good time to just go like, yeah, so for like 10 minutes I'm going to explain a character's backstory with like... I, there are ways to do it, it's just like over a campus. Turning point for me. And 
I would encourage any soldier to try it. It's a unique experience to put yourself in the squad of a Turian commander. My commander was an uncompromising bastard named Bartox Oryx. If you can find him, just ask how the platoon I commanded was trounced in his strategy game. Humbly. But I've used what I learned that day many times. The xenophobes will have their say. But I think it's vital that we do more of this kind of cross-species training. There you go. <laughs> and if you do find General Oryx, let me know. I owe him money. <laughs> Damn. And, and, and fucking instantaneously, Captain Anderson is now for the, one of the most bawling motherfuckers in the planet. Talk about the SSV Normandy. The Normandy SR1. <laughs> and some people die, and if they don't, say again? On the Normandy's design <laughs> and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO. Wait, did everyone not know that? I thought it was like on the was cover. No Kind of reminds you, chat the 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 SS uh, the SR one Normandy, the very original Normandy. We really only got for one one game, huh? Well, the sort of Normandy's been changed up between two and three. It's, it's still the same one. We've had that for two games. The first one, we man, it felt really brief getting that ship, huh? Man, sucks I can't nuke Ashley again. Eh, yeah, me. Well, eh, you can dream, right? You can dream. Okay. I have your new questions here. As a leader, do I ever feel that the end justify the means? Spirit of law over word of law. I'm not going to touch that with a ten-foot pole, but I think I know what you're after. You're referring to the way I, um, arranged to have the Normandy released to Commander Shepard. Before the Battle of the Citadel. I'm not sure how valuable hindsight is to the military. Obviously, it worked out for the best. Without the Normandy and Commander Shepard free to do what they needed to do, what we needed them to do, Saren might have taken the Citadel. I think it's clear what a different galaxy this would be if that had happened. I did what I had to. If I had been wrong, I would have gladly accepted the repercussions. The real trick is never being wrong. <laughs> if you're looking for more action and less philosophy in these notes, let me know. You know, after after so many conversations about fucking China, I <laughs> I kind of think that smug that fucking smug bitch would do, would use that fucking line on me. <laughs> if I was wrong, well, I'd take the repercussions. Trick is, just don't be fucking wrong, forehead. Fucking idiot. Just don't be wrong, stupid. A brand new ship. My ship. Just don't be fucking wrong, man. The first time you're standing there, the whole crew looking to you for direction. Unfortunately, I'd led men and women before that. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. Do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew, a crew you can trust with your life. 
gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them. Eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said. Let's see what we can find. Goddamn fucking Anderson's fuck cool, man. Holy shit. Also, I didn't even ask, how's everyone's day going today? I'm doing pretty high today. You never asked me about this, but my wife just called. My ex-wife. Nobody likes to talk about the toll that long months apart can have on military relationships. She wasn't military. She couldn't handle it. But it's not even about... Military and non-military, damn it, it's space flight. Space flight. Finding the mass relays, miracles of engineering. Human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer. But that's reality. And it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end... You just have to hope you made the right choices. Okay, so I think we have like two British people now that we can like put on the list of. I'm sorry, three British people now that we can put on the list of uh, the th <laughs> three coolest fuckers in the gal in the galaxy. You got Winston Churchill, you got uh, fucking Price. And and uh, Captain Anderson because yes he was born in Lo London. Captain fucking Anderson is British, <laughs> which means he gets to be on the list of coolest fucking British people ever. Also like I, 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 it's like the oh yeah Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I almost forgot about him. Alice. Uh, no, we got that. We count that one. I don't think we count that one. Yeah, I don't know, Chad. I don't think we count that one. That's the coolest women. From <laughs> King of the Castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. About the time my money ran out, my new friends turned on me. I was outnumbered. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. The one solution. Or I fell down. The one situation can too. still. I saw a Salarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Salarian? Move like a damn cat, I swear. That was Everybody more. Was out cold or running. He walked over and helped me up. N70 asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Walked away. I had met my first specter. Fuck! Learn an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster, and a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. Yeah, I need little lessons mm. kept me alive more than once since then. Oh. I damn Captain Anderson, you don't have to be the coolest son of a bitch in the galaxy. Why do you. So anyway, Vohir's on vacation. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but we're on vacation. Who run out of air first? Out of the program. 
The best N7s can survive alone, but work together to survive even longer. Oh, that's very impressive, Admiral. Deep space survival training. Oh, that has to be so difficult. All of it would take such strength of character. Well, just plain strength. But then you seem like a strong person. I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Uh, well, does the program make the man? Or do you think you were born for this? It's a bit of both, I suppose. Every soldier reaches a point in their career, sometimes more than once. When they are asked to give more than they ever thought they could, that moment is the test. I've seen men and women, almost sure to fail, persevere long past the point of breaking. That experience changes them. Others, with all the gifts and abilities, fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few. None of which I'd like to share. But, uh, I think the toughest tests are still ahead of me. What makes you say that? Call it a hunch. Soldier's intuition? Something like that. Do you trust your intuition? I mean, do you follow your heart over your mind? <laughs> well, <laughs> it depends on the day. No, I... I suppose if I were to be honest, I do trust my instincts. The problem is, war isn't orderly, and the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran is going to find themselves in situations they haven't trained for. In those instances, and there's more than I'd like to admit, your instincts are the only thing keeping you alive. That, and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader. Well, war tends to make examples of them. What makes a good leader then? Hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes the cost of failing a mission. Good God, this fucking year view takes a thousand years, doesn't it? Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. Neat. Aw, oh, man. The Captain Anderson had way cooler ship models than me. God damn it. <laughs> hey, Shepard. Uh, I've got some things I want to go over with you with the Normandy and Dry Dock. Oh, yeah. The Normandy's being retrofitted right now. That's why we're on, like, vacation. Screw me up the Rishu Sushi. Yeah, fuck it. Child, let's go get some sushi. I mean, fuck, we were talking about it earlier, and, you know, don't worry, let's go, go, let's go get some sushi with, with fucking Joker. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Welcome to the Sunset Strip, baby. Oh, sorry, Silver Sun Strip. Fuck off, same thing. Wait the fuck up, Samurai. <laughs> City to burn. Yeah, that's right. Look at Vohir and Jules to get fucked. Ah. Ah, Commander Shepard. 
Yung tab, is okay. Ayan, yeah, so, ayun yan. So Chad, if you remember the No More Heroes stream I just did. Yeah. Yeah, it's about what you think is gonna happen. Yeah. No shop talk tonight, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. We should get more wine. Or is it sake? Cutting in line? No, no, I have a reservation, Kane. I'm better than all of them. I, I have a reservation because I'm cause I'm cause Vohir's famous. So this, is, this is what Woden wants to achieve. <laughs> this is what Woden wants to achieve with like herohood. I got to cut the line because you know I'm I'm Vohir, I'm Commander Shep Vohir Shepherd. Perhaps you've heard of me. I I fucking saved the galaxy that yeah, twice. You might have heard of me. I get to cut because I'm famous, not because I'm not because I'm cutting in line. So it's okay. Oh, oh, let me put this in similar terms. Kane, I get to skip the line because I'm a level 5, and all those are a bunch of no, no levels. <laughs> so, uh, naturally? You know. So you, know. Authentic French sushi? you know. You know, oh, you get it. You get it, you know. What, what are you going to let the level 5 stand behind those fucking plebeians out there? Look at those fucking pathetic bastards. What a shame. Maybe be born, I don't know, better. <laughs> Maybe you should have better genes, nerd. <laughs> Get fucked, kids. Exact. Now you're thinking with portals. Hey, Shepard. Not bad, huh? Sushi place is serious. Like, French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You seen the line outside? Fucking plebeians. This is literally Woden trying to desperately get them to our attention. <laughs> <laughs> Drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. God wouldn't want to be here. But Any news from the Normandy? Ah, oh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Space tire. Right. Trust me. I'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. And it's not easy to hand the ship over to somebody else. I just don't want anybody touching her but me. Especially but, since it is your girlfriend. Remember, Edie not is the me. ship and it is his fucking girlfriend. So, you so, know, I get it. Your email it's weird. Support. What's up? My email. I'm here because I got a message from you. What? The hell? I didn't send anything. What? Huh? Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Nine and here three. sums up the Commander, entire crossover, Kane. This is the entire crossover Come in a nutshell. We Behold. Any appetizers yet. Commander Shepard, I'm Staff Analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance. Excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah. I think she's aware of that. Uh, no, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people. New people. They're... It's... <sighs> so <laughs> that sums up the crossover more than any Contact other meme I could ever send. Records. People are trying to kill They're you. you so <laughs> All the black sheep look at each other. Yeah, no, I think we're aware of that one. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I mean new people. They're, these ones are different. No, this is like a separate thing. Like, this is, this is new <laughs> That was basically Vohir's opening gambit, and just she really hoped that was that one was gonna work. It didn't. <laughs> People are trying to destroy the city. Everyone looks at each other. Well, no fucking shit, dumbass. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Thanks for catching up. Thanks for catching up like t two seasons. <laughs> Big mistake. Hey, well, I'm gonna oh, rip everyone in there's half. The angry face. Fuck off, Joker. From the top. What do you know? Excuse me, you told me the reservation. Best cutscene of the mission, I love it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by random acts of violence. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's a good line. Actually, my favorite line of the whole thing. Joker. Ow, my pancreas. Hey. Tonight's Damn. show is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Find the crew. God, I love show business. Find the crew. Got it. So, chat, you know, hypothetically, you think, uh, hey Kane, you think, you think Woden's boss wants to go out with her to a sushi place after she threatens a director? You wanna, you, you, you know, you know, just, you know, have a, have a char to heart, you know, hang out, chill, there's a table and bait Shepard and choke it in. <laughs> Whose table she's at? <laughs> Okay, they just knew Shepard was at the restaurant, but, you know, they're fucking stupid. Okay, okay, okay. look, it's Voyeur's evil twin doing all this. Do you really think, do you really think they've planned this? They were hoping that, that this little, like, trick was gonna kill me. Someone was banking on this killing me. My evil twin was banking on this. Did you see that? So anyway, yeah, Kane, you wanna does does like Does Voter's boss wanna, you know, like go to a sushi place? I swear I won't use him as bait. Look, I just you know, she has mutual respect for the man, so you know she wants to naturally. She get a gun, man. I'm always backing. Why you bully? I don't bully him. Look, Kane. I'm not. I wouldn't put. Woden would never put her judgment boss in danger that she couldn't get him out of. But that does occasionally mean he has to be bait and take some bullets. I'm not saying he's gonna die. I'm just saying, you know, he's gotta fucking, you know, be the champ for a second. Whether he wants to or fucking not. Bitch, I'm getting to it. Commander. Say my name one more time and I'm fucking destroy you. Okay, get up. Oh no. Well, fuck me, man. I have never been in more pain than this exact fucking moment. Now we get to actually have fun with the game. 
chat. We get to have fun in the video game. Guys, I don't care if the current temperature units still work. Put the new ones in along the section. The customer has permits and wants to work to start immediately. Even paid for upfront with a crazy bonus. Get it done. Nice. Okay. This area is unsafe. It is it now. Also, check. I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Precision Motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. Also, Jet, this is what's between the Citadel. So, um, it turns out the fun. Has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. This area is oh, also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. <laughs> This is Woden's life. We've gone from vote here to Woden. This is fucking her life. Oh, one second. Shit, this DLC is just a fucking cool. Anyway, let's ha let's go have fun. I I had to prepare myself for fun, but we're ready for fun. Who's, re who's ready to have fun? I don't have ammo. That's that's normal. That's typical. You're not supposed to have ammo. I can keep this gun, by the way. It's actually just a pretty fun gun. I might I might keep it for failure. It's not it's not the worst. I bet it is. What a badass. I know it's because Larians are like, hey. need to. Hey, how you doing? But I have a silenced pistol and he just couldn't give a fuck. Also, I like the outside. Hold on. That's what I was getting at. I really like the outside chat. Look, this is between the This is all this really cool infrastructure shit. Okay, if I can make a suggestion for the campaign, if it's not too late, since we're fifty percent through, apparently, uh, can we go to the underground city at some point and just do like a like a small arc there? Fuck, I really want to go to the underground city. Oh, I fucking love shit like that. It's like Bioshock. Fuck, I love this. I love this kind of aesthetic. Ah, ah, I need to go there. I need to see it once. <laughs> Alpha, you were you went to the under? I did. I missed it. Was I too stupid and I missed it? No. No. Don't mind me. It was about the episode of the start. Oh, fuck! Is that around the time where I uh, uh, decided Vestral was going to be the object of my fucking entire existence? Because fuck me, that was a good episode then. Yeah, that's a good episode. I need to get to my shop. Why are we locked out? Could we under attack? Is Circlers attacking? Oh my god. Please have to shut the doors. What's going on? I wanna go there again. I wanna have a fun arc there. I want like Bro, I want a fucking mini like Bioshock arc there. I love shit like that. Like a, just something fucking wacky and stupid. I would be so down. Just like what this game, what this DLC is, just kind of a send-off. I would love any like underground, just wacky bullshit with the whole class in the city. <laughs> just, just like that's like a send-off. Everyone's stuck down there. It's like everyone, the teacher. It's like every, I, I really want a good everyone episode. Like a good everyone art where everyone does some cool shit. 
I'm switching my teacher. I feel bad for it now. I want to see some cool fuck, fucking shit from I still don't have ammo. So getting down the... Uh, back... Oh, that's an issue. Hmm. Maybe I should focus on the game. Perhaps, perhaps. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of are. What's even better, Kane? Okay, so that underground city made me so, made us so excited, cause in one game that we streamed, we were we, it was like one of the first times we got drunk doing a stream, cause I thought it'd be really fun, cause I played through Armagarchi Generation. I thought it was such a cool thing. I was like, I really want to experience and show it off. That was like one of the first streams we did that we had a lot of fun in. I didn't realize my mic was off the whole time, but I've I sent it in the in in the Academy City chat. You've seen it, fucking that Gundam being Judgment Riot Control. I believe they do that in the underground. <laughs> Cause that action, I didn't realize that that was action underground city. Oh, I love that DLC for Omegachi oh Generation. That's like one. All that oh shit. All that whole like game, but that DLC was fucking cool. I love the right suppression Gundam. Because fuck it, you definitely needed that. Yeah, man. In case you ever need to stop a riot, you definitely need to deploy the Gundam with 50 caliber machine guns. After all, they're rowdy fucking teenagers. <laughs> You can fuck off with the whole shock in the Oh, time to start using my powers. Trouble? Oh no, shit! You think? <laughs> hey, Kane. You know, if the immortal demigod, if the immortal like s uh, slime puke from a uh, agent chaos god can survive getting pimp slapped by moths, even though that knocked her out, then I, you know, I think Shepard deserves a little bit of you know credit for being unarmed and still getting this far. Come on, I mean, you know, like what the fuck? I'm sorry. Was this knocked out son of a bitch still summoning drones? Out of them. Hey, Garrus, what's up? Can you hear me? <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> so I should have just renamed this to to Woden because this is about to be how Vester just reacts to me in general. No, the Yara was how Vester reacts to Woden. It's just, it's not angry. So you're missing with the blades me every time. No, the hitboxes are weird. I'm hitting. If I like, it, it, they're weird. Hitboxes are weird. I played this game like four or five times. The hitboxes are weird. Sometimes I'm missing, sometimes I'm not, and it's just it's. Th sometimes the reason I'm missing is just because like. Like sometimes the blade, like the heavy blade swing, like it teleports you forward. Sometimes it doesn't because you're like trying to back off to not do it. It's fucking. It's such a weird attack. Anyway, uh, man, this is basically like how Vestra mode should be, <laughs> like near the end, man, this is just it. I fucking love this. The Woden in Vestra is, uh, Shepard and Tally. Renegade Shepard and Tally, that's the, I keep fucking, I wish I had a better gun. I want my SMG back, give me my gun back. Shepard was unarmed. Man, those guys are idiots. 
Man, those guys are idiots. Couldn't even stop Vote here. Damn. Bro, couldn't even. Bro, they couldn't even stop Vote here. They couldn't, like. You know, like, the full, like, the full army couldn't even, like. Couldn't even do that. Damn. What the films? Okay, well, when you throw like 600 grenades, it seems a bit like cheating at a certain point. Got an idea. Okay, well, my idea was shit. Fuck off, I'm gonna get past this. It's easy. This is fine. This is this is Look, I got a pistol I'm not used to yet. It's good, I just I need to find the combo. I need to start using my powers more. Is the issue. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Here's what I need to see. Oh okay. Rex is coming though. There we go. Now I figured it out. Shepard, can you hear me? Easy peasy. You okay? I'm fine. Might need a little backup. Lucky for you, Archangel is your boyfriend. Joker, fill me in. I'm on foot. Be there as fast as I can. My well, boyfriend's Excuse coming. Me, That's Woden Investor you're right there. Joker mentioned Stack. Everybody play nice. Army. Everybody play nice. I have to fight the fucking apocalypse. In the middle of the apocalypse. Fucking goddamn it. Oh, for fuck's sake, Dan. Whatever, I know the combo. Howdy. Gunfire check. I can't believe it. Gunfire on the Silver Sun Strip. Nah. Nah. Shepard, can Good you hear me? me? You okay? I'm fine. Might need a little backup. Lucky for you, Archangel is your boyfriend. Joker filled me in. I'm on foot. Be there as fast as I can. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. Joker mentioned staff analyst. Fuck, I. Nope. I remember I'm not in my armor. I'm in a fucking hoodie. Might not even miss the point. Hang 
Joker mentioned staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. Currently fighting the fucking apocalypse to the moon, right? Well, he's not just stop Commander Shepard. I'll tell you that much for free. Commander, Jeff told me what happened. The crew is headed your way. Good to hear. Things are a little dicey. I will attempt to register. Surprise. <gasps> Power magnify. <gasps> I'm going to make my magnum stupid. I know you're looking the fruit when I'm not around. Stop that, seriously. What? Oh. Brooks, found a way across. That's pretty good sound. Right, because of the uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override it. Damn it. There's a deal, you can't say stuff like that, Josh, you will freak out. I thought her dad was a fortune. Sort of doubt it. Damn. Casual racism. Born this stupid. <laughs> nah, no cranial damage needed. Vester called me, man. I'm not. I'm not. Foyer is just trying to survive. This is basically what it's like to be woke. Brooks, found a way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override it. Don't worry about it. I'm detecting multiple alarms across the ward. What's the situation? Thought I'd make things more interesting. I see. Did you sustain cranial damage? This is all commander. Here it comes. Got him. Look, there's a lot of them. What the fuck? Why are they sentient? Are these robots? Do they? Do they think? Do they feel? I think I told Mario Seal doing something extreme, starting to black out from the pain. Yeah, you really gibster. 
PS4 is I really think I'm blanking out. Eh, it's probably fine. Shed full health. Sure, like the music in the background. Thought I'd make things more interesting. I see. Did you sustain cranial damage in the fall, Commander? Uh huh. Found a way across. It's locked down. Try to override it. Damn it. Shepard, what's happening? I don't even worry about it. I heard that from here. It's all under control. Make things more interesting. I see. Did you sustain cranial damage in the fall, Commander? I really like this guy. I just wish I could upgrade it. I do like the fact we get to play with it a little, though. Pretty cool like that. <laughs> oh, and chat, we're missing valuable lore and more importantly, money. I'm not dead and I'm not sure how. Hold up. Oh, that explains why. Right, 
shit, I didn't have my armor on. Uh, I'll try to override it. Things more interesting. I see. Did you sustain cranial damage in the fall? Oh, Commander. Oh, yeah. Now that I got on. Prices the low reward, I assume so. You are really bumblefucking this Brooks, but it's fine, you're adorable. Also, yes, whoever your love interest is, is actually here to save you. Different one, depending on who it is. I really am. You could say that. The landing pad is just over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. Nice outfit. Control panel, right. Word is you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. A damn shame. Great food there. We'll talk about it later. Stand back. Hold on. Hi there. Uh, could you open this up? <laughs> Much appreciated. Please leave. <laughs> <laughs> Mash negotiator. When we well, did, I could have done that. When we did the Woden build, that was actually how it was. It was fucking Woden investor. <laughs> fucking... 
fuck is this music? Oh. That's fine. So he's just like, oh, no. Oh, cool. They play fucking jazz at me. Everything's fine. Nothing broke. Everything's good. We're golden. The music actually really makes me want to play uh, Fall in New Vegas. One second, chat. All right, so back to it. Fucking boy, Garrus here to back him up. Yeah, it is actually your love interest. Uh, by the way, that is who will be here with you. I have this section. Kyrus is objectively a better one to have than fucking Liara. But either way, it doesn't matter because after you get them, you get... A face full of like fucking running. Also, you get Rex. Expansion. My boy. Is that a fucking minigun? Oh. Oh shit. Here we go again. Foe here has never been more happy. We got a way out of here. Rex, I'm a professional. That's not a yes. It's not a no. Commander! Joker, we lost our ride. Where are you? Oh fuck, if we're gonna be this goddamn hype. I mean, if we're gonna be this fucking ridiculously overpriced, like, you know. If we're gonna be this unhinged. Let's get out the jam, shall we? Hold on, one moment.
I mean, chat, I'll be honest. As meme as this part's gonna be. Fucking, I got a minigun. I'm with fucking Rex again and Garrus, my two best boys. I'm about to fuck up several hundred people. This is about to be the dumbest shit ever. I love it. Get him, lads. I don't know, where's your fucking off? Yeah, I fucking don't know. Goodbye. Easy peasy and squeezy. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? I didn't recognize those marks. Have a... I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns, and grenades, and those drone things. They did have the drone things. The drone things were actually the worst thing, by the way. Those were actually the fucking worst. It's all right. I'm calling Commander Bailey. See what's going on with CSEC. Okay, that sounds... Wait! Wouldn't that just make whoever you contact a target, too? She's right, Shepard. Until we figure this out, it's a big risk. Okay. For now, we run this ourselves. Right. Ourselves. On our own. Outside the law. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! True. Well, yes, that did happen. Canonically, yeah. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you, they said the medigel might make me jumpy. Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like uh, someone using an admiral's pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that admiral is fighting on Tuchanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits after my cat. Brooks. Right. Sorry. Oh, I'm getting the red eyes. Mr. Fuck yeah. My program yeah. detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Usually Think always. Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Guess we're back on the clock. And when this is over... I'm sure we'll find something to do off the clock. Garish, you tease. Okay. Ideas on where to start with these guys? Well, I was looking at that pistol you picked up. Go on. For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. 
Never seen this thing does hit like a fucking truck, Chat. This, like, statistic-wise, this thing is a fucking it. powerhouse. I might be able to help. Glyph. Buffs? Ooh. I'll begin collating oh. relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Liara. Shepard, I'm relieved to see you're in one piece. A shame about the sushi place, though. It was a favorite. I hear that. All right, Liara's on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot. <gasps> who could that be? Hell Permissions yeah. Permissions come aboard, Shepard? Granted. Surely it may be canceled, Chat, but we're getting one last yeehaw. And now, uh, as a fun little thing, now on the Normandy between, like, you know, major missions, you can talk with your crew, yada yada, so on and so forth. This is a mini version of that, and they're... They're treats. They're all just fucking treats. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. What's up, Commander? No, we won't. Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I'd think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. Hey. <laughs> Okay. The Normandy's nice, but for unwinding after a mission, you can't get better than this. This is pretty good. Observation lounge needs a hot tub. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Now the observation lounge, which is for viewing into space. Now think about it, Chet. A hot tub in there, just looking out into the depths of space while in a fucking hot tub, or like seeing an alien planet dry docked. <sighs> that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to fish. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush, okay? None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well. Garish, my beloved. So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window. <laughs> Garish, the Geth didn't even make windows. I doubt our guys are going to look through ours. Believe it or not, they will not find this place. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm amazed too. Yeah. Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. And you are a treat, Javik. Hey, everybody. Hey, it's everybody. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team. Compiling data on the gun for Doctor. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. <laughs> Fuck. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. 
I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan, out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, Art. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. Hanart implants? Hanart... Uh, uh, camera? Im Han Hanart? Im I'm so glad Triss is near. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino. A good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but... The cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team, no gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score. So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Still, we're talking about a casino. There's gotta be alarms in that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast baron leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. It's not going in those so fucking vents again. Casino, what Absolutely not. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. Alright, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? Yeah. That's the plan, Brooks. Get whatever you need and be ready. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. <laughs> With that, Vohir fucking expired. Yeah, bring my husband, whatever. <laughs> I actually do want to see what character. I've taken Garrus a few times. I haven't taken every character. I've taken a good few, though. I've played the fuck out of this game in the DLC, but ooh, lord. Looking good, Shepard. Thank you. I did the best I could without a carapace or a crest. Your best has my mandible on the floor. Damn. You know, I shaved my legs for this. Oh, and I even put concealer over where I got shot. Just smile and wave, Brooks. God damn, you're so fucking you cool. Liara, give it. One second, chat.
Yeah. I regret nothing. Da -da. Anyway. Input. I'm here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Garrus. Time to meet the riffraff. I'll call you back. Potential client here. What? Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. Neat. Oh shit, Quasar. Get our money back. We got this. We got this. I'll be right there, Brooks. Got a little money back. We're gonna earn the money back, chat. Trust me. Trust us. We know what we're doing. Told you. Bit of a loss. Make it back up. There goes the payday. Gone. Whatever. Fuck it. No, seriously. Have you ever tried to chase an ambulance? In a sky car, it's about the most dangerous thing you can do. What?
Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Ooh. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self delete after a few seconds. Got it. It's puzzle time. And Chet, we're going to use in. all our brain power for this one. I've got the grate open, and in we go. Act casual. I like you got to see the while. vent close if you're fast enough. It's cute. It's for a good cause. For every thousand. Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know. Fucking what? I have a place to stay now, but thanks. So you had nothing before that? Oh, how brave of you to endure, dear. The humans oh, yeah, are they're so elves. resilient. Mm -hmm. Like that phrase of theirs, stiff one in the lips? A stiff upper lip. Right, of course. What did I say? Hello again. Siliana Aranos, by the way, and this is Lehanna Parit. We're friends of Mr. Khan. Hi. Lee here encouraged him to have a charity night. She just about melted his heart. Uh, Mr. Khan doesn't melt, but I did show him it earned some good press. Nice. I need to try that roulette table again. There is a snotty human girl I need to show up. So? By the time the night is done, you'll have bought breakfast for every Batarian on the station. Hopefully running water instead. Have you visited their camp? The place is fragrant. Well, we can stop worrying about outdoing the human girl. Damn, she's kind of right, though. What do you have? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Cassian Temple coming up. Are sorry drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also a sorry. They kick like a shotgun. God damn, that sounds cool. Evening. What's popular tonight? Well, some adventurous souls are trying the mind fish. It's what Hanar like to do instead of alcohol. Huh. I guess since they're mostly water, the dehydration would be bad. Right. So there's this fish with hallucinogenic skin oh. oil. Gets Hanar buzzed right up. Oh. What happens if humans eat it? Way more potent, and it releases into our system slowly. Best to clear your schedule for the entire weekend. What can I do for you? I'm curious. What's the craziest thing you've that ever That sounds really up? good, actually. Well, there's the I mean, if just for like a weekend. That's a Krogan right? drink you set on fire, put out, then drink from the scalding hot cup. Well, there's the weeping heart. That's a martini with drell skin venom. The venom's pretty mild, though. Oh, wait. A volus bina. The alcohol puts you on the floor, and the ammonia lets you clean up the mess you made. If you live. Ah, uh, is there anything else? Damn. I like these little fun conversations. I swear on console they like really speak Hi, things Elspeth up. Narain. I'm running for Zakhar Award City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. Hmm. Attention, bets are locked. Attention, all bets are locked. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. There's. Commander. Make me proud. What? There's a guard right below me. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Excuse me. 
I think I saw someone doing drugs in the ladies' room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games bionically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, ma'am. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. <sighs> Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. Oh, yes, we will. I do actually like the fun dialogue here, so I am chill to just fucking hang out. What's your connection to Khan exactly? He's a campaign contributor. Uh huh. You may want to do a background check on him. He's dirty, like you can't imagine. Oh, not again. I can't believe this. I just got done returning donations from some terminus pirate woman. Was her name Arya? Yeah, and before that, it was an Asari Spectre tell us something, and before that, there was this Krogan. Do I have a sign on my back saying, exploit me? Well, you don't exactly come across as formidable. But I'm trying to fix it. I practice glares in the mirror every night. Oh. Oh, come on. I mean, come on. She wants to be. Oh. Melt your damn heart. I'm gonna gamble now. <laughs> um, I love roulette. Every minute is more exciting than the next. Should I point out the flaw in that statement? Oh, are you like one of those detail people? Come on, even diamonds have flaws, but mm. that doesn't make them less valuable. Miss, where exactly were you educated? Oh, online. You can take these courses and it teaches you responsibility because you do the grading. God, I wish. Evening, officer. I'm at okay, a gym. There's a camera you in the say car. That. I think I spotted a man in the poker games with a card fabricator. Like a cheating device? Show me. Damn, Garish, you fucking legend. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe. She put to me that her legs are falling asleep. Are you fucking joking? Come on, no, I want to hear what you Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. That's special dialogue because you're dating. Hey, Commander. What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm, but you must stall him before he reaches Brooks.
Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What do you need? Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you a security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You got the same suit. You... Enjoy your evening. Easy peasy You're clear, squeezing. Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. Oh, fuck, I'll show you. Because th that, like, human girlfriend thing is actually reference to Shepard. Come on, Tiger Bite. Bring it home. You get a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at a shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight, and outfight anything he can't outrun. What are the odds on him? Enough to pay for my kids' tuition. So these hollows aren't just hollows, right? Real Varen are racing somewhere. Oh yeah. They set up a trap. Our pups eat. They bark. They need cleaning up. What's a pro racer eat? A special diet based on what they get in the wild. Minus the radioactive crap. So what, raw Krogan leg? Oh man, my dogs would love that. Kind of illegal though. Are there a lot of fights in Baron races? Only if something goes wrong. But I don't call my boy Tiger Bite for nothing. They throw at each other. You know, they grab and hold for dominance, but they don't actually break the skin. Sounds like quite a trick. Yeah, if I had teeth like that, I'd poke somebody's eye out. Evolution's a pretty amazing thing. Hmm. Neat. I learned about Krogan. Bypassed the camera back there. Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this before someone comes by. Hang tight. I'll get to you. Follow the yellow wiring. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it. So the honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. Damn. I'm debating whether I should report you to security. Oh, I like a good debate. Would you chat? Look up the anime The Great Pretender. Very good anime. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what this guy's getting at. You so smug if I got you thrown out of here? Possibly. I'd like to see you explain my wicked motives right after you explain why you have a radio in your ear. Well, since I don't see you turning me in either, I gather you're no friend of Khan's. Khan doesn't have friends. Anyone who says otherwise is deluding themselves. So, is Khan part of your game tonight? No, I simply sheer... No. What do you mean to call it? I fleece his guests. Then there's no harm in telling me what his weaknesses are. I've studied him. He's ruthless and rich, but not very bright. Temperamental. Doesn't deal well with the unexpected. He's also used to letting other people handle things he doesn't understand. Like his security. That's quite an assessment. Do I owe you anything? No. We do what we do because there are wrongs that need righting. The wrongs I address are simply pettier than yours. And I guess we know where we stand, Mr. Korn. Enjoy the evening, Commander. Goddamn rolling corn such a badass. <laughs> Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice your sidearm. Is that a corn effect? Yes, sir. 
It is. You have a good night now. Perfect. Suspicious activity. My floor. A guard spotted me. If you act normal, hopefully he'll move on. The thing about Solarian parties is, they all do it too well. I don't follow. My lab group on Sirkesh. All Solarians but me. And all with damn near perfect memories. Oh, that could get awkward. Exactly. It was all about who burnt the cake six months ago, or arguments that two people continue when they meet up once a year. So they never let anything go. Yeah, it was constant one-upmanship. I couldn't keep pace with them if I wanted to. Can you tell me who calibrates the odds on your machines? I never seem to get a payout. I'm afraid that's confidential, but I'd be happy to provide you a free drink instead. You have a good night now. Can you tell me where your bartender hides the hard stuff, like, say, Turian Horask? I'm sorry, sir. Fuck, I really want to hear all of Garrus' dialogue, though. It sounds so good. Con, you and me There's are gonna YouTube have videos, a talk. you can find it. What the hell? And here I had this bad cop routine all planned. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it! Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... When I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Name Let a time go. and a place. Or you could hide behind voice disguises for the rest of your life. You're trying to rattle me, so I slip up. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. <laughs> Bring a bigger hammer. Your last try was inadequate. I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Hell of a party. Well, unless you were the host. Didn't end so well for him. I suppose it really didn't. Though, it wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. Alright, one second, Jim. I'm gonna go to the bathroom.
and we're back. <laughs> Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here, I think a pad like this would be stopped. I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? Hmm. Keep talking. Did I ever tell you about my casino run-in with the Vorcha Mafia? 5,000 credits and a bottle of whiskey? Actually, never mind. What? I hope Brooks and Edie can find something on the drive. Same here. I hear it was quite the party, even if things didn't go exactly as planned. At least you didn't come away empty-handed. Greetings, Commander. The casino will be hosting another gala in a few months. Shall I arrange for tickets? Once was enough. Embarrassing moment? I've got more of those than anyone will ever know. Only way to learn something. But if I had to pick one to share... I had just gotten promoted to N7. Full of myself. King of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they were. Dude, we heard like we are ended that with a hiccup. Well, I'm just glad our team made it back okay. What are you looking at?
think we've got something, Commander. Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they give you what you want. What? Next time, I would gladly... I prefer you didn't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. What's the matter, Shepard? Didn't want me as your date? <laughs> Too much Krogan for you to handle? <sighs> A lot of people have that problem. <sighs> Most of them are dead. <laughs> to borrow a phrase from Vega, you looked smoking in that dress, Shepard. You got some looks. So did I, though the ones directed at me said, How did a Turian like that get a girl like her? And the final. Commander? I am glad to see my physical proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission. Fuck if only, man. Let's see what you find before we call it a win. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still, we found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost her chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. But how come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. And the camaraderie, the friendship, I think that's your secret weapon. Damn chat. Damn, I need to clip that. That's fucking good. Skills. And now you've lost your chance to sh Step in. <sighs> That's pretty good. Oh. Alright. Now that we've copied that.
Yeah, cool. Anyway. It was mostly me, though. this bunch everything they know. Right. Ducking, running, and hitting the occasional button. Here we go. Wow. Those mercs who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. How big? Oh. Max, what do they need with that kind of firepower? It appears this drone is preparing to... <laughs> no, I Janet. I just monitored the commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel archives. Punch it up. The archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What the fuck? What's with the Volus? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? <clears throat> Who's going to pay the bill? Oh, you know I'm taking Rex. And you know I'm taking Garrus. Oh, Evo, let's go. Yeah, that worked. I didn't modify Rex. Fuck. What's the best way into the archives? The facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. Oh, you love it. Don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with a sorry. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses! Again. Oh, shit. Ambush. Scatter and take cover. In the old days, we had at least five minutes before I met you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck the men. Shit, we got a call here. Brooks, you okay? Oh, yeah.
Now we're getting somewhere. That's enough. Drop Ooh. your weapons, or this won't end well for her. You bitch. All right. Where did my helmet go? <laughs> Whatever you think you're getting away with. There's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. Oh my god, it's my evil twin. It's Vohir's evil twin. R R Rova. Uh huh. So that's how it's gonna be. Ro R Ro Rova. Yeah, that me makes sense now. Fuck you. I thought it was funny. Who are you? You weren't the only shepherd that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone. Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me, I was created for spare parts. In case you needed another arm or a heart or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? In a coma. Until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. I don't care who you claim to be. The role of Commander Shepard's already filled. By the wrong woman. It's time the understudy had her day. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why try to kill us? Because I don't have her memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Garrus Vagarian. Uh. Nothing more than a burnt out cop past his prime. Well, and you're just a pale like imitation that. of the real thing. I'm the real thing. Perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, the failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. What? Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe your Shepard. They will when I'm flying her ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitting command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm sending the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm looking forward to killing myself. <laughs> Never has Vohir said that. I guess ominous threats of violence run in our DNA. But mine is more than a threat. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today. Cult. Execution SMG is way too good. This is actually the best reaction 
we could ever have for a finale for this series, because it is literally every badass in the fucking galaxy in one place, holy shit. Damn right I am. Watch your aim up there, guys. Too close? Sorry. Where do you think you're going, princess? Yeah, I missed my war crime machine gun. Now where the other you go? She's pushing into the archives. Stay in your room. I missed my, my uh, old machine Team gun. Team Mako, you're on point. Right. What's a Mako? What? Something we could use right about now. Team Hammerhead, cover the flank. Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the Hammerhead. Anything's possible. You mean like strolling along and bumping into your clone? I don't want to talk about it. Right. At least not until we've all had a stiff drink. How are we gonna find anything in this place? Glyph? Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? She looks like me. Then I have found the target. Shut the fuck no, up. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. Once, Come on, Glyph, please. Bye, Garrus. I'll miss you. Now, if you get into the vault, we can move you across. Ooh. Okay, I'll be honest. Uh, it's cool, but for now, just just give me my old shit. For now, just for now. Rex, my boy, you're an absolute. I can't make a modify it, but for now, just there you go. There you go. I actually really wanted to add this because this is the first contact gun chat. This is like old school, like the original Lance, even before Mass Effect. Fuck yeah, I want yours to have that. Check this out. 
says this gun was part of the first contact war. Year 2157. First time my people met yours, Shepard. Naturally, bullets were involved. Relevant data uploaded to research outputs. Commander, the other U is searching for something 200 meters ahead. Got it. Fighting your own clone. Pretty crazy, even by our standards. Nah, I'm fighting Good elder school. gods. If there is a task you don't wish to do, Commander, <clears throat> let them handle it. So, like a personal <clears throat> butler? I don't want to talk about it. Right. Don't let your clone do it. Shut the fuck up, gang. Come on. I need more time to reach the vault. It's... Commander, the other you is searching for something 200 meters ahead. Got it. Fighting your own clone. Pretty crazy, even by our standards. But useful. <clears throat> if there is a task you don't wish to do, Commander, let them handle it. Like a personal butler? Mm. I don't want to talk about it. Right. Shepard squad, I need more time to reach the vault. Keep Shepard off my back or I'll have your head. The other Shepard sounds like a real asshole. Yeah. It does sound like a fucking dick. Fuck. So good. This I actually really like Vogue having more of a John Wick gun than a musket. It's way cool. They sound like replicas. Can't be far. Keep up the pressure. Perfect. We'll try to surround her. Let's move. Jet, that's it.
It's put a smile on my fucking face. Now I'm fucking one of those. Can you imagine the history in this place? Must stretch back thousands of years. I just wonder what the other me is looking for in here. Year 700 CE. Krogan Rebellions attack on Council, Vault K306. This is the only visual record of Krogan Overlord Credit's attack on the Council. Audio follows. I've heard enough. If the Krogan hadn't taken on the Rachni, you would all be at their mercy. You won't give us what we deserve, and so you force us to take it. We will never leave the planet of Lucia, no matter how much the Asari cry. Ambassador Critic, you only weaken your case with a show of violence. Wrong, Solarian. Now our case is finally strong. Negotiations are over! <sighs> Man, violence begets violence. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so you know that's like the you know the, the Krogan finally rebelling. That's like the star heart of it. But like, come on, man, that image is not doing it some justice. I really like the pistol. <coughs> Here we go. I also like is to have situational awareness, but Lord have mercy knows that's not coming. I just wonder what the other me is looking for in here. Shit, now we bully the final sniper. Oh, 
I can do that. I do like how he's still using Uncle Erna as a present for you. That's pretty good. Keep going, squad. Good job. Anyway, what's all this then? Lower. Year 1896 CE. Removal of illegal AIs. Vault C940. These are the last of the AIs on the Citadel. This termination action is unlawful. Why do you continue when our appeal has not yet been heard? Keep quiet. You know that the Council will never overturn its own edict. Standing by for your go, sir. Do not terminate us. Go. Why are we so always so racist to robots, man? Like, what the fuck? They're just goofy little goobers. <laughs> little fucking tresses, man. Chill. Recognized. Commander Shepard. The following information is classified. The unknown aggressor is suspected to be a Reaper aided in its attack on the Citadel by rogue Spectre Saren. The Reaper Sovereign is destroyed by the Fifth Fleet. So you all knew it was a Reaper. You all in your fucking historical vaults call it a Reaper and you didn't prepare for the Reapers. You gotta be fucking kidding. Oh, the gods of clown show. The council's a fucking clown show, chat. It's. It, mm -hmm. uh, Attention! 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 Attention!
hell am I going? Fuck, how did I get lost? Oh, there we go. Man, I bet people were yelling at us just like we would yell at streamers. Fucking damn it. I just, just talk around. Also be one shot by the mech. I'm gonna crush that. That's why I fucking hate fucking only. I think fight reavers. I think reavers are like the only thing I can play if you want to solo. That's like the one thing I can do. Don't do anything else. Don't. Just don't. Just don't do it. Love watching those things explode. is often benefit packages. God damn. What the fuck? Oh shit. What the fuck is sabbatical? None of your choice can be 
here. Where do you think you're going, Victor? Refrain from shooting at me. The Gunners are Shepard. Go, go, go! Lieutenant Vega, a bullet puts a delivery man is on the line. Tell him they've burnt the Pepperoni. You mess with Shepard, you mess with me! Commander Shepard, please do not fail. <laughs> I I bet it would. Uncle Erdnot has a present for you. Oh, you please don't die. People would be sad about it. Yeah, well. Yeah. That had to hurt. cover when they show up. They wish to inflict bodily harm. Also, I discovered an L core making token in all 347 B. Fascinating. Oh, sure, I can aim this. Well... Bankers tougher than this. Now who's the 
be honest, the rest of the old dudes kind of fucked me up. They wish to inflict bodily harm. Also, I discovered an elf for you. Zen check. We just have to. We just have to zen. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. It's whatever. Don't worry about it. They wish to inflict bodily harm. Also, I discovered an L four major assault all three four seven eight. Why are you using the sniper rifle so fucking hard?
promise you these four dudes are the hardest things that came from me. They wish to inflict bodily harm on you. Also, I discovered an Elcor mating totem in Vault 3478. Rex, what? You mess with Shepard, you mess with me! Tell him they burnt the pepperoni! Commander Shepard. Please do not. Many of your crew members will be saddened by the loss. Grieving crew members will greatly help you. Yeah, but I guess they will. Everyone's ass again. <laughs> Hammerhead and Mako, keep pushing ahead. Right. I might throw up a little bit now if that's okay with everyone. And chat, I think that is where we are gonna call it for now. We're gonna save this. Save this for probably tomorrow morning. Finish it off there. Because after this part is when it gets really fun. <laughs> so uh anyway, chat, we'll see all of you tomorrow. I had a very good time. I hope everyone else who watched did. Till then, later mates.